What's up guys, this is Share talking, welcome back to my channel on today's video, I'll be talking about the 4th anniversary update, everything that just got released. Well, we have this 4th anniversary banner, and there are two versions of it. One uses pay gems, and then you do a multi pool and you get 15,000 medals to choose one style to pity. This list has styles that were released since 1 of October to 29 of February of 2024. So it's not really that big. There is just around five months of styles, but there are some good styles here as well. You can click on some of the details to see the full list, but it's actually much better to see just by going in the exchange button. I think that because the multi-step version has one free step for every two multi you do, you actually have to spend only 33,000 gens, and it's usually better to use three gens to do so. Unless you really just want one unit, or four units that you know what they are. Okay, let's click on exchange. And here on this list, there are plenty of interesting characters that I'll be talking about now. For example, okay, these characters will be Joe, this Joe, she's still useful and she's going to get a new style and Flame Force is going to be an important inheritance. Then, Julian, still a very useful style even though the newest Emperor replaced him as the best counter. He's still the second one and he has Pierce damage as well. Paulus. The second best debuffer in the game loses only two Ocelus, and in some situations can be better because of AoE buff break and easiness to use other companions. And a uh, borderline buffer matriarch. Those are characters that if you want to add to your team, they are worth going to the PT point. But this matriarch, only if you got the newest one and you have an idea of using her for either buffing or defense and damage. Now, there are other ones that are still used as they are. For example, I would say Hilda can still be used in some content, although not as much. Shiel is a character that can still be used in a lot of content, even on 270 if I'm not mistaken. And then there is uh, Summer Anya. She's still useful and can give inheritance like Luminous Blast into her future style. Then there is Princess White Rose, that is a very useful style because of brilliant notes helping out a ton on the Remembrance fights. Creator, still a very useful farmer and can still be used in Remembrance as well. And now there is Goddess. We have two versions of Goddess here and if you got the nearest one, both can be interesting. Summer is the best one because it gives her even more damage. But the counter version can be useful for Remembrance via Thousand Blade Masamune. But she does not have Taunt in her newest style. You will have some problems. But, well, she can use it two times for better counter even. And then, there is Firebringer that can still use it as uh, he is if you have the newest Firebringer. Then, if you got the newest Pale Nymph, you can use this one for inheritance. There is also Emilia Bunny style if you are having difficulty with remembrance for guns. And there is also Bunny, that is a support unit. There is Torpe, that is the best counter for remembrance now, although you can wait for Hawk. If you got the latest fake Gustav, you can also inherit. The skill number 3 for Morale Down, so that he can even decrease damage taken. There is Fuyo, if you want to have the full debuff, if you got the newest Azami. And there is also Genie, if you want a tank for Remembrance. But I think you can wait for better characters overall. There are still other styles that are strong, like Tomo, Hippolyta like Summer or Lete, but I don't think they will be important moving forward. So, kind of skip them, and let's talk about some other banners. New banners we have are Beauty and Silver Festival. 
First, let's talk about Buni. Buni Banner will give more value to most players. All units got buffs. The good thing about Buni Banner is that she has now something pretty unique. Buni is a character with lots of status. She's even good defensively. She has a uh, guaranteed chase and a chance to chase with Trinity Blaster that hits three times with C power. It's more than a 4S power attack. She increases action order via skill and passive. And she has this skill called Mirage Dragon Barrier that gives this Dragon Appeal every turn. That gives uh, passives for everyone that they get attack boost, defense boost, and buff endurance and will when attacking. And then she wants to use her skill tree every single turn if possible, but she can use every two turns. That will then apply damage block for the second hit. That will give also attack boost when you are attacking. And also buff your status ailment resistance by large. This can be game changing if you are in a fight with enemies that attack multiple times. Because this cannot be cleansed by the enemy. Much like attack and defense boost. If you have the newest unit before this one. She's still cross inherit this second skill for full defensive builds. Or more offensive builds with different types of passives. Then... We have Goddess, that is the best sun damage dealer in the game right now, especially if you have her summer style. And the case here is that she has this new year pursuit that can stack two times and she can attack eight times as a chase on overdrive. And there is sun drop, that is an attack that will increase heat and sun damage as well. And she can also recover HP of everyone, decrease the BP cost and also fully charge in overdrive three times, it's crazy. A full damage dealer with access to very good healing as well. And like we discussed it, she gets better if you have the summer or the counter style for Remembrance. And then we have Silence, that is an overdrive specialist. This guy allows you to get to overdrive on turn 1 and turn 2. Or he can also choose to go into overdrive for the squad every 2 turns. And he buffs a lot of things when he's on overdrive. And not just that, he even increases the damage for everyone and his way to get into overdrive is the best one because he gives end of turn og gouge meaning that even if every character attacking on overdrive on the same turn he still gives og gouge while still attacking something that for example abel doesn't do he's the best og charging in the game right now but order of preference is still building being the best one probably wearing seeing at least a 4.5 grade with Goddess on full potential being a 4.5, but just this type will be a 4. And Silence between a 3.5 and a 4 grade. This banner is better for newcomers because Bune will carry you defensively, while it's easier to find damage dealers. The other banner has a little more off damage, and it's not as important. Bune banner receive a silver plus, while... This banner also receives a silver plus. The thing is just that it has a different focus. Because there is this newest four news that is actually a specialist. He's a leader for water cold squads. Well, he will give you a 50% increase for cold damage. He will also allow you to self-buff STR Endurance Intelligence and will and landing an attack by just 5%, but also 45% cold attack boost for all allies when they attack. Then there is more. He also gives this Rapid Blasting. This one has a limit. This can only trigger once. The other can trigger it multiple times. You recover 1 BP, you will recover HP, but also applies a defense boost for everyone in the squad, decreasing damage taken by 15%. That stacks multiplicatively. He also decreases damage taken at all times by 30% for everyone with no rules. Buffs all status by 20% on start of turns and by the end of turn removes all the buffs while also giving 1 BP to everyone. And has one full defensive passive that decreases damage taken by 50% and still has very good defenses. He can inherit counter skills. He can also inherit damage type skills. He already has stem pass fail that gives two different layers of defense. A guard up and an defense boost. And he also has a second skill that is uh, one of the few targetable skills that gives heat up and defense up to someone. While also giving this chance to apply defense boost that increases damage taken by 35% to the squad. Two times. 
So two chances of 37%. But he will also be able to choose someone in the party to give a 15% defense up and a 20% heat up. Pretty interesting character that I wanted to have. Especially because he actually synergizes super well with Silver in this banner. Silver has two different guaranteed chases and she can get a third one via her passive. So she will attack and then have three chases all the time. But on even turns she has two other chases and on every four turns she has another two. So she can attack up to eight times. And when she attacks with slash attacks she grants herself an attack boost and a defense boost. When she's using cold attacks, she can buff all surviving allies' status by 5%, and when using lightning attacks, she debuffs all enemies' status by 5% too, even through it says medium, and she has very good defenses as well. This character takes time to get stronger, but if used together with 4 news, is going to scale damage a lot, but it's not important. I would say that this silver, because of needing to use a skew and then slowly build up, is not as strong as some modern damage dealers, and without for news in consideration, deserves only a 3.5. Then we have Sumir, and this one is actually pretty good. She has damage, but also has support. She gets action order up, as you can see here, and then she grants an attack and defense boost of 15% each. She would then also buff 35% for everyone's endurance, will, love, and charisma. That's great, those status allow you to survive. Also, when she's attacking, she grants herself HP healing, BP generation, attack boost, and will buff, and sometimes uh, it can trigger twice. But in some other turn, she will then instead buff STR instead of will. She has this skill, call it Ninjutsu Greeting Swift Blade, that gives her a permanent chase that would then trigger Acceleration Sword, a double S power attack with both Slash and Pierce, that buffs her STR too. She then has a 1bp cost AoE heal with damage, and then she also has this other skill that can be interesting because it grants a 25% chance to block damage via substitute technique, and also buffs endurance and will when attack it for just that turn, but she wants to keep using this, if possible, while still applying one defense boost. A damage dealer that also helps sustain. Sumir deserves at least a 4 in our grading system and can inherit a uh, very, very useful skill. But that style you can easily find now, but in a different place. Not in the banners. Just go to the home screen, click on the special shop, and here you find a new selector that is free. We still have uh, another two hours to get the past selector, call it Empire Glory Pack, and I do recommend doing so. If you haven't, at least for the first and second uh, values, since it's free and then 1000 gens. Now the next one is much better because it has a wider variety of styles. You can go up to step number five and go on this one here, purchase, and then go to the shop, then exchange, and then you find it on the top. You're on the top, you can find this from your Christmas style that has a skill called Ninjutsu Present Swift Blade. It will give her yet another chance that has S power. So she can actually have as much as six chances, but it takes time to build up as well. But it's not really necessary, just improves the character. This selector also has other styles that are interesting, but I'll have to take more time to talk about them because there are three selections and a lot of styles since the start of the game up to October of past year. That is a lot, so wait for the future video where I'll be talking about this. Now, let's go back to the home screen. There are more stuff to talk about. For example, they added a new Fort Anniversary special missions. In seven days, you're going to get 3,000 gens. We also got as much as 18,000 free gens in the gift box. You can see from my claims, uh, there was 3,000 and then 3,000 and 12,000. A lot, so if you want to pull on these banners, pull. If you don't, wait, because these banners are not exactly the main banners from Anniversary. Now let's go to the free quest system, and you have to go back to the past book, because we got a last day here on our celebration, and if you don't go here, you are going to lose on 3,000 gens. 
Well, here you can see the 3000 gens, but also a new helmet that can be improved and gives you blunt resistance and 8 points of endurance and 6 points of will. Pretty nice, don't forget to do that as well. There is also a new book here that will give you a lot of rewards and there is a new change here. You only need to reach level 3 to unlock the next stage. If you are using one of the banner units, just two fights will unlock the next stage up to you get it all. Then we have a new weapon for free, a triple S S sword that has no element, but it is free and easy to get. And if you clear all stages, you're going to get 150 gens per stage. Multiplied by 25, it's 3,750 alongside another 3,000 from collecting the book. There's a boss here that I'll be doing a video in another occasion as well. You also have this new event called the Dragon Rise Anniversary Festival, where you can get 2,024 gens for free just by doing the first quest. Here you also see that you can run these keys that you get as drops on the new book and they will allow you to get different rewards and you can choose stuff that is limited and will give you improve it drops like this one you increase your stage experience alongside other rewards as well then this other one that will give you status boost five times for all styles and the last one that will give you skill up as you can see three times gains there will be other stages that will be unlocked on different days and on the action shop, you can see a new triple S spear. Well, you still have to evolve, but it has the water element. It was made for for news. And two other equipments, the Dancing Dragons robe and the Violet Flower Geta Reeves. Alongside many other rewards as well. Besides, they also added a new expedition system. And you can see special expedition on the top right now. If you have a lot of tickets, you can decide to just send some units to get style experiences or just Aurum. Usually people will want to get Aurum or style experience for new characters, but it's similar to the original system, you just get different rewards. And then we have a timed special expedition that gives higher status. You can see here that the highest expedition will only give you 2620 HP as the game says, exactly higher, but the newest one gives more. You can just go here and see that it has 200 more. So use it while it is available, especially if you are a new player, burn your tickets here to get higher status. Then they added a new system as well that you can find here on challenge that is still not released. You have to go and check walls of challenge. This one will be a new type of Final Island and will be released at a later date. Now let's go to the news button here. There are some other stuff that we haven't discussed yet. And very good stuff, like they just released a new pack that is made for newcomers, but also for everyone that plays this game. It's this 500 pay gens and 600 gold pieces. You can purchase this three times, I believe it's 2 USD for most. They also released this 4th anniversary pack that has 17,600 pay gens alongside some other rewards and the usual packs. Not just that, they are also giving us a lot of free gens. They started by giving us a bunch, but they will also be giving us daily. You can also amplify two skills for silver. They also increased the adventure rank to 80, where you'll be able to craft another accessory and get more drops of the red crystals. Then they will also release a new attacks versus the Earth Dragon in three days from now. And that's it. We discussed everything from this new update. We'll have more videos tomorrow and moving forward, plenty of other content as well. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to click the like button and also see in the comment section if you agree with what I said and if you have different opinions. The cares that you pull in, I want to know everything. See you soon in the next video or live stream. Goodbye.